Okay. 20,000 hours later, we finally make it. Not sure how much of this you guys are going to be able to see with it being so dark, but I'll try my best. I finally made it. Yeah, all the way up to Cortez, that's a trip. Yeah, at least it wasn't as bad as this morning. I went out, was out earlier today. We had about four foot seas out in the bay. I saw it coming, coming over the bridge. Yeah, it was quite a night. I didn't think it was going to be that serious, frankly. No one did. That's pretty much all we've been dealing with today. Our boats have floated off lifts. Really? Yeah, it's just... No one was expecting this. Yeah. It was almost as high as it was during the last hurricane. Yeah. There we go. I got a couple deck plates. Yeah, one of the problems here is it came up so high. <clears throat> Electric to the boat lift. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I can't get it up on the lift, but if you can get it. Yeah, I can at least refloat it. Exactly. Well, if you want, you can stay out here, but I'm good. I'm good to go. So if you want to stay inside where it's warm, and I will come get you if I need anything. Honestly, I would rather not have him out here watching. First things first, let's see if we can grab the stern cleat. I'll get some cameras so you guys can see what's going on. Like I said before, I'm not sure how much you're actually going to see. I as many lights as I can, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. I think maybe this one will go stick somewhere over on the dock. We can. I'll put it right here. Search that recorder. I don't know if I got a cord long enough to keep this charging. Well, I do. 
This is what I need. Yeah, it's 15 foot charging cord would come in handy at some point. Keep that camera charged. I am not looking forward to getting in this water. At least we're back in a little bay here, so it's a little bit warmer, but it's still only about 67 degrees. the life jack on so you guys can come along. Clip that on the front maybe. So that doesn't interfere too much with the camera. Yeah, I don't like it. Stupid. Okay. I need come along. Four of these, that should be enough to get this build up. <clears throat> Try to get everything set. So I only have to get in the water once. I can put my sweatshirt back on, my long pants back on. Freezing out here. The water is about the same temp as the air, so not very warm. Now it's gonna need a strap for the piling. Front. Mm, front might want to keep tied up too. I'll probably put it. Come on, I'm. Each corner of the bow. Absolutely. One tie for me. Another one on the far side on the bow. The starboard bow. I think I'm just gonna really put one on each corner. <clears throat> Keep the front from sinking. I got a 
bring the stern up probably about a foot and a half, maybe two feet, <clears throat> in order to get the deck above the water level so that the pumpkin can do something. Just maybe any better for you. But maybe it'll be good enough. Okay, got that one done. Figure out what I'm gonna do with this back one. I think it'll probably just come right off my boot. Put that somewhere around there. These two go together. This will be my stern tie point. This one really not lifting up, or just keeping the bell from falling down only lift up the stern. Kind of just chill out for now. These other two I'll take over to the top side. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be the one that sucks getting all the way down there. Do these pontoons have any openings other than the ones in the front that are open? Um, you got the two hatches up front I, that are open. I don't think so. There may be one here, but I don't think so. Yeah, I see you got deck plates, but those should be at least yeah. mostly watertight. Pretty much got the bow up, so I might be able to start pumping from that. Oh, get some of the water out of here. Yeah. 
Serene stopped.
do that one. It's a pump for water now, so I'm going to get the pump set up here and start my pump.
Got some gloves in my bag here. Not too many factors. You're gonna put through holes by the water line. Gotta have check valves.
they're part of the whole compartment, but they're all little separate ones. So I can't make up with them. So I gotta get this whole boat out of the water first. And And this kind of looks like me just this. Yes, I can get this on the cleat so it grabbed onto the line. Broke. You guys can't see what I'm talking about anyway. It's dark and it's underwater. Now you can barely see what I'm doing. Thank <laughs> you. 